Hi, um, I'm Mike Spencer from Global Karting, and um, today we're going to show you how to rebuild an X30 IAMI carburetor. It's your carburetor top, it's pretty clean as it should be. And your filter, these don't come in the kit, so you have to be careful with these and uh, clean these and reuse them. Also, while you're doing this, make sure all your lower your gaskets out that come in the kit. This is a kit that you use, you have to use a specific one, the RK6HW. Um, and this is a complete kit that comes with a need and seat as well. The only parts you have to reuse are the filter that goes in the top and the spring that goes under the, the pedal. I like to lay these out and just sort of inspect things. That's not too bad. A little bit distorted. It's something most people overlook is rebuilding these quite often, which they should do, and they don't. And that's your that's your pump diaphragm, which is as you can see as well. Again, distorted. That's two meetings old. Discard all the old gaskets. Also remove the jets, clean these out as well. And show low jet. Main jet. Now here's the pedal. You just don't take this screw all the way out because it, you lose your spring a lot of the time. Just a few turns. Push the bar out. Now you have your spring, needle, pedal. Bar. Now I just like to clean through everything. Just a bit of brake cleaner or a carburetor cleaner. Same with these, just clean everything thoroughly, make sure there's no dust, no grit or anything. Just lay them on the, on the clean work surface when you've done them, lay it all out ready to put back together. Like I say, I'm not gonna, going to replace the needle and seat, that's the needle and seat there, it comes with a copper washer underneath, but generally I replace the needles quite regularly but the seats they don't really wear out that fast clean that as well always make sure you use a fuel filter on the chassis or filter the fuel going into the tank with a, a paint straining filter or or those water separating filters you can get right we're going to start reassembling the carburetor now everything's clean checked New diaphragms and gaskets, um, jets are all clean, carburetor top's been blown out, not that there was a lot in this one. Uh, we've got the spring that goes under the paddle goes in first, it just goes in that groove there. Then complete paddle and needle assembly, you can see that's not got a lot of wear on that, it was holding pressure fine so there's no point in changing it. Just hold that down and do the clamp screw up. Just make sure that's fairly tight. That's okay. Then you've got the first diaphragm and the gasket goes underneath. So just so that sits on top of the paddle there. 
make sure that locates nicely and those three just make sure that's pushed down so you don't get any creases when you clamp it together and you got the first part there that's all clean sure that's down nicely again no creases in the gasket if it leaks any air or any pressure anywhere then it's not going to work properly and you have this gasket here goes that way up make sure the red one goes on first so these grooves all here all cut into that so it seals then you have your pump diaphragm Goes there, and then the carburetor top. Again, that's all being thoroughly cleaned. Again, just just keep checking, make sure there's no creases in any of the gaskets. Otherwise, you will just have to replace it again. Pull the screws up evenly because they do tend to leak otherwise these. Opposites, so again, that all clamps down nice and level. We will check if there's any leaks at all when we're finished. Filter first, do you filter first in the cork gasket, and then just your plastic carb top. A lot of people over tighten these and they just distort and again they just leak pressure so just this literally needs to be nipped. That's as tight as it needs to be. Then your main jet. Just make sure the o-ring seats properly as you're putting the jet in and it goes into the groove. So again if that's leaking you won't be able to get your jet in right at all. Yep, that's good. I close these off to pressure test the carburetor first to make sure there's no leaks whatsoever. Again, just shut them off for the minute. Those are the bits we're not using. See that's holding pressure. And you open it up, drop straight down, and hold there. Perfect. It's quite simple. Always put a bit more pressure back in. Shut that off again. And then just check it a bit of brake cleaner. See, there's no air bubbles there anywhere. It's absolutely fine. And then you set your jets, and you're ready to go.